So it's the start of the year and you are going to use SPSS for some work. So you open SPSS and of course it takes a little while and you'll see this will open. IBM SPSS has expired and will stop functioning soon and you can click here to open the license wizard and you'll also see you'll get this in your output your license renewal date is passed this product will stop working if a new license is not installed soon so you've got two options really here either you update the license which is what i'm going to show you to do in this video or what you can do is download a newer version of spss and just install that following the standard guidance and um, there's a link below this video in which you can see um, a, a video guide on how to install spss from scratch what I'm going to show you here is how to update the license. So we can just click on this here if we want. Um, if you delete, close this window by mistake, it's fine. You can get at it another way. You can see we've got this license renewal info there as well. So we can just search for SPSS. And then you'll see we've got IBM SPSS Statistics 25 License Authorization. So we can open that. Let it make changes to our computer and the wizard will open. So you're going to get these little warnings about um, your license expires, it's going to become unusable, yada yada. So what we want is an authorized user license. I purchased a single copy. I know that doesn't sound logical. That is the one you want rather than the concurrent user license. So I purchased that. You click next. And it asks you for a code. So we need to get an updated code. Now we can get that from the university website. Let's get the university website here. Of course, I'll have to go on through staff. You'll be going on through students. And we get it from, if we go to CSD, Computer Services Department, or Software Licenses, let's just go to CSD. So we can go anywhere, we can just go straight to that, but that's giving me a 404 at the moment for some reason. So let's just go to work from home. Um, and then we can just go to computer services that way. So this is your computer services department. And what we're interested in is software. Software license codes. And SPSS and AMOS. And you need to put in your username and password. And then you can see this is where we get our license codes from. So then you just simply have to copy the codes, display it out here because I can't be sharing the code across the internet. You paste your code in here, click run. I'm not going to do that now because I need to change some licenses over and that will install your code. That will install SPSS is new code for you and then it will be able to run.